What's up family? Welcome back to Make Me Unusual. So today we are going to be doing another foundation review. It's going to be on the Laura Geller Baked Balance in Brighton foundation. Um, this is a powder foundation. It was recommended by, I think their handle is Rose and Ben, but I'll put it up here. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in seeing this new foundation and blush then stay tuned so come on give me love i'm gonna show you how to move how to move with my body come hit me with your touch and make me want to say so if you've watched any of my makeup video well, i've used a product from laura geller before and it is um the baked blush and brighten blush the color that i usually use is tropic hues so it's this like kind of berry shade beautiful blush um it gives a little bit of luminosity as well as decent color It really, oh, it really just moves with the light very well. Love this blush. And I had been using it for years, but I'd always say that I was going to get more colors, but never got around to it. So I, when I saw the recommendation for this foundation, I just picked up another powder blush. Now the blush options are like there's a lot of them but they all kind of or a lot of them kind of look the same so I didn't get a lot of blushes I just got one other color. So the packaging looks like this. Now these products are all baked powders. Um, it says, flush your cheeks in an instant with our silky smooth baked blush created by Italian artisans and baked on terracotta tiles for 24 hours. The iconic marbleized powder develops, nope, powder delivers fresh color on all skin tones infused with antioxidants, Santella Asiatica and white tea extracts the famous formula protects your skin with anti-inflammatory properties get a gorgeous glow no matter the season so it's supposed to leave your skin looking dimensional and radiant so like i said i have the color tropic hues it's more of a berry color this one is called apricot berry Yeah, this one is called Apricot Berry, so it's more... They actually kind of look the same. <laughs> that was my thing, was like a lot of them look really similar. This one is supposed to be more of an apricot color, but it actually does look quite similar to Tropic Hues. That's both of them swatched. They don't look a whole lot different. Tropic Hues looks a little bit more of coral versus apricot berry, which you would think would be the opposite because apricot's more of a warm, corally color. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's that there. Um, I might, we'll tr also try apricot berry in the try on. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But what we came here for is the Baked Balance and Brighten Color Correcting Foundation. So this is the packaging looks like. It says, let us balance your skin tone and brighten your day. Our beloved Balance and Brighten Foundation makes shade matching your skin tone a breeze. Color correcting swirls of multicolored liquid pigments are baked for 24 hours on terracotta tiles, then hand finished in Italy. The result is weightless, creamy coverage that self-adjusts to leave skin looking even, flawless, and beautifully radiant. Baked products are made without additional fillers, so they cover with less product than traditional powders, infused with antioxidants, the same too, 
um, Balance and Brighten gives you luminous perfecting coverage you'll love. So it came with a whole pamphlet here. Um, they have a lot of baked products, so they also have a highlighter, they have a blush, they have um, two foundations, so the baked foundation and their double take baked full coverage foundation. So one is a color correcting foundation, the other one is full coverage. They're all powder products. Um, the idea is... They're striving for radiance and brightening youthful glow, kind of glow from within. Um, but yeah, they've won awards for unique baked makeup. All of the foundations start as a cream and then they're baked for 24 hours and then you get a weightless silky coverage that applies with ease with the ease of a powder and delivers the smooth finish of a cream. It's got six claims, adds instant dimension, lightweight and silky soft, blends easy, won't cake or crease, never clogs pores, long lasting. Okay, so cool. It's supposed to be used with their spackle um, primer, which is a hydrating primer. I didn't get the spackle primer, but I will use a hydrating primer for it. Usually, I'll test half of my face with a primer and half without a primer. I think I'm gonna do that um, just to see what the foundation does look like. Although it is recommended to use a hydrating primer, so keep that in mind. But I will moisturize my face, so I'm going to go in with the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. So I just moisturize. I'm going to throw on the, actually, alright, we'll use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I'm just going to put it on half of my face, the left half. So I will keep on this foundation for some time today. I am filming quite a bit, recording quite a bit, um, and editing quite a bit. Today, right now, it's 3 o'clock. I will try to keep it on for as long as possible. Hopefully I can get at least six hours. All right. Um, I do want a little bit of concealer, so I will do some under concealer. I'm not going to do too many products today. I'm just going to use the NARS Walnut, no, NARS Soft Matte Concealer in Walnut. Actually, no. I'm going to use the Creamy Concealer. So this is the NARS Creamy Concealer and this is in Amand. I'm just going to blend out my concealer. I'm going to use the, I don't know why, I just, I'm going to use the Everyday Vacay Foundation, no, Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder from Ciate. I just, I realize I still have this, but I tried it yesterday and it wasn't horrible, so I'm just going to set my eyes with this. Yeah, I forgot about this powder like entirely, but it is quite smoothing. Anyways, this is not about that. All right, I'm doing very little uh, face-wise today. I'm really just going to put on this bronzer, uh, this blush, and then lip gloss, eyebrows, mascara, um, so I can go into my next video. So here is what the product looks like. Ooh. So it's like a marbled looking product. Very nice. I am going to use a brush. I know for liquid foundations I would do the whole brush sponge thing. Um, 
but I'm just gonna use a, a brush for this day. All right, let's uh, let's go in. So I'm using a flat top uh, buffing brush. This is the E6 by Morphe. I'm just going to swirl. Okay, it's a little powdery. I don't know if you can see that, but it is quite powdery. Did anything happen just then? Mm, keep an eye on like my scarring and stuff and let's see if this actually does anything. I'm not like I can see something's there but it's not doing a lot the color is not horrible it may be a little a little on the red side this is the I didn't even tell you what shade this is this is the shade D My skin looks good, but it's definitely not a full coverage situation. So for this one, you might still need, you might still want a concealer for this one, but I'm not hating what it looks like. It is very sort of airbrushed looking, but it's not full coverage, which they have a full coverage foundation, so maybe it's not meant to be full coverage. All right, let's see if it applies better on the hydrated side. Now, this is recommended for uh, mature skin, but I don't have mature skin. However, I was drinking last night and I didn't get great sleep so my skin is stressed <laughs> um, and also tired and more dehydrated than like usual so it does have its work cut out for it Okay, I think my skin looks actually pretty good. It looks really natural. Like, like my skin is supposed to just look like this. So I keep going over to see if maybe we can build on this. But I think this is about as far as coverage goes so you can still see um, spots obviously but it does look it does look pretty good it didn't emphasize any like dry patches I may have but it didn't exactly like cover them obviously it is a powder foundation but it didn't emphasize them it just went over them So I don't mind that. I know I said I wasn't going to use a sponge, but I kind of want to see if I did use a sponge, if it would cover more. So I have a sponge here. So it doesn't combine as well on the sponge. You can kind of still see streaks, but it's fine. All right, so let's see if we can cover that spot. Um, I think it applied with more coverage. Yeah, I don't see a huge difference in that, but I do think it provides more coverage with a sponge. Go over here and see. 
it's not a whole lot of a difference i think it's just applying like much more product but it's not providing like more coverage and i don't really think it does anything pore wise if i use a sponge over a brush so i you can use whichever but i'm just gonna zoom in and cut my lights a bit so this is i still have studio soft lights on but i cut my immediate light so you can see so it didn't emphasize anything my skin looks smooth but it just looks natural like this is just this just looks like what my skin looks like just a little better Let's see Let's see pores are looking great I don't really feel anything on the face I have a lot of peach fuzz here, it's still there, but it's not like emphasized or anything. And of course you can still see um, scarring. Alright, so for a powder foundation, I have high coverage powder foundations. This is like a medium to light, me medium, medium coverage foundation. Um, you can't really build it up. I tried um yeah once you get to that medium range you're kind of just it's medium it does mix well I think the shade match is actually great it's if anything better than better than my infallible um fresh wear my infallible fresh wear is in sienna and it's a little too warm in my opinion but I like this foundation um this one is a great shade match, I think. And to be honest, I thought it would be a little... I thought it would have the same problem as the Infallible because it's got... If you can see, um, there is a red streak. Like, a pretty prominent red streak. I don't know if you can see. Oh, okay, there you go. It's got a prominent red streak in it. I thought it was going to pull too red, but honestly, it looks great. Color looks great. Finish looks great if you wanted just like a little something on the face or as part of like my five minute ten minute um skin routine this would be awesome i like this i think we'll see how it holds up i don't right now i don't see a difference between the um primed and not primed side and actually this my skin doesn't look like really dry which is you know one of the things that people run from with powder foundations so i'm going to try out apricot berry which is this shade right here as a blush i'm not putting any liquid blush under it i'm just gonna try out the blush itself i'm gonna use the morphe r3 which is this That's a lot of glow. I'm not highlighting today. I'm just gonna use uh, the blush. So that's the thing. This is a, such a beautiful, like, luminous brush. Brush. Blush. It reminds me of Milani Luminoso. People used to love that blush. This looks exactly like that's beautiful. Look at the the glow of it. So gorgeous. I kind of want to compare this color to Tropic Hues because Tropic Hues is the one that I have. So here is Tropic Hues again. I'm just going to use the back of the same brush and put it over here. All right, on camera they look exactly the same um in person tropic hues looks more pink and apricot berry looks more like berry 
which is hilarious because it's called apricot berry it should be reversed in my opinion but i think apricot berry is more luminous it might just be because it's newer like it's it's newer in age i i like them both they kind of look similar really really similar so yeah i think i like apricot berry better but again it might just be the fact that it's it's just newer i've had um I've had Tropic Hues for a while now, so. All right, cool. So we tested that. Looks beautiful, so it doesn't emphasize. It. So I'm just gonna cut the light and you're zoomed in. So it doesn't emphasize texture or anything, which is great, goes on nice and smooth. Um, gives that nice glow, a little bit of color. I think Tropic Hues is a little bit smoother but it might just be because it just looks less luminous um but yeah you can kind of see the color difference more here but that is what she looks like and there's no glitters or anything in any of these products so love that all right i'm gonna throw on some brow gel and mascara lip gloss I'll be right back all right, so uh, brow gel is the NYX brow glue. I have the Maybelline Sky High mascara on, and my Pat McGrath Lust Gloss in Temptation Bronze Temptation. So this is what the face is looking like. Again, same thing. I'm gonna set. I love how it looks even without it being set but I'm going to set with the Veil Soft Focus setting spray just throw in a little hydration how oh, I look real glowy oh come on this is this is a beautiful foundation it just looks like my skin oh I love this okay wait Laura Geller may have done something with this. Okay, so I'm loving that. Um, I will come back. We'll test how long <laughs> this lasts. I look like I'm wearing a full face of makeup. I look like I'm wearing a full face of makeup. And I'm just wearing powder. Like, two products. Anyways, um, it's 323. <laughs> So, I will come back after I'm done uh, editing for the day, or I have to do a look later, so I will come back when I have to take this off. Um, but yeah, see you in a bit. I am back. It is now, it's 8.39. Um, it hasn't been that long I was hoping to wait until 9 but I got to get started on the next thing that I need to work on and it requires my face um I didn't do a midway check-in and I should have but I did do um I should have done a midway check-in because I did shower with this on and this is um, more glowy than it was before I went into the shower but I did record a fall um, part of a video before I went into the shower so I'll insert footage um, of that from my my ginger wig video I'll insert some footage from there so you can see what it looked like before I went into the shower um, but as you can see, we're much glowier throughout the center of the face, but from being in the shower, I'm not really missing any makeup. It held up great. Um, I also had a wig on that came down in my forehead. It did rub off some of it, but like, it still looks pretty good. I don't have any creasing. Um, it's holding up well on everything like it all kind of looks the same except there's like 
um, I do have oils coming through on my nose. I'm just gonna turn down. So here, there you go. So I do have oils coming through on my nose and it's slightly more glowy throughout my T-zone. But other than that, like it still looks great. I really <laughs> like it. Um, I'm not really missing any makeup on the bottom half of my face, although I, like I said, showered, so my face was wet, um, just from, like, indirect water, but it just dried down, no problem, I don't have, like, my face isn't wet, the bottom here is not oily or anything it's just matte looks exactly like it did when I started um, I do have oils however it doesn't seem to transfer too bad which is great I'm just gonna blot a bit and see uh, cotton round I just want to see if you know it transfers so there is a little bit of transfer but honestly nothing ridiculous <laughs> nothing ridiculous at all if I take so that's on the oily parts but if I take it along the dry yeah there is a bit of transfer but that's from like rubbing it I'm gonna take a clean one again and just touch the dry and there is no transfer so I really like this um, the blush did fade a bit but not horribly what if I wanted to like I blotted and it looks exactly the same now but what if I wanted to add more This layer is great. Um, my makeup now looks the exact same as it did. <laughs> like, honestly, it looks perfect. Um, it looks like I haven't been wearing this makeup for hours. It looks like I just applied this makeup. I really like this powder foundation. I would highly recommend <laughs> this powder foundation. I don't hear, I've only heard one person speak about this foundation. Um, it doesn't come in a lot of shades, but this is a great match. Like, I don't understand. Um, it looks great. It, it honestly looks really good. So, would I recommend this foundation from Laura Geller? Yes. And you already know how I feel about the powder blushes. I love them. I don't think you need more than one color. However, you can probably just get one. Um, but, yeah. So, these two products from Laura Geller they are definitely worth the buy so run don't walk and you get a lot of product in here like this is nine grams of product in here and it does have like a little mirror in it not that that's I mean it's kind of helpful for on the go anyways would I recommend these products? Yes. Alright, I need to take this off. I will, you will likely see this again. Um, but yeah. If you like this video, if you're interested in this product, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!